welcome scientists. Today we are going to study the coral reef. We've talked about other ocean habitats and now we're going to start with our coral reef unit. The story for today is called Life in a Coral Reef, written by Wendy Pfeffer and illustrated by Steve Jenkins. And our magic door is open today and we have lots of friends who live in the coral reef joining us. As morning sunbeams stream down through clear blue-green water, a coral reef built of limestone from tiny sea animals becomes a magical place. A coral reef overflows with underwater life. More sea creatures find food and shelter in coral reefs than in any other ocean habitat. The Great Barrier Reef, a world of wonder off the coast of Australia, is more than 1,200 miles long, the distance from Maine to Florida. The largest coral reef in the world, it began forming millions of years ago. It's hard to believe that all coral reefs, large or small, are built by tiny sea animals called coral polyps, each the size of a grain of rice. In clear, shallow ocean water, warmed by the sun, these tiny tube-shaped coral animals attach themselves to the skeletons of dead coral polyps. Layer upon layer of old coral polyps form beautiful coral reefs. Other animals keep the reef sturdy. Sea cucumbers spit out the sand they cannot eat, which fills the cracks and crevices in the reef. This makes the reef stronger so wave action doesn't tumble and crumble it. Two kinds of coral animals, hard coral polyps and soft coral polyps, live in colonies on the reef. Hard coral colonies look like boulders, pillars, cactuses, elk horns, or even brains. Soft coral colonies look like fans, fingers, flowers, bits of lovely lace, or multicolored swaying sea feathers. Hard corals are reef builders. Soft corals are reef decorators. Their rainbow colors give the reef its beauty. In this coral kingdom, with its stony towers and turrets, some creatures eat one another and some help one another. A small goby helps keep other fish clean and healthy. A grouper allows the goby to remove parasites from its mouth. Parasites can make fish sick. Then the goby moves over to a spotted mooring eel and eats its dead skin. A clownfish huddles in the pink-tipped poisonous tentacles of the sea anemone. Because the clownfish is immune to the poison, it has a safe place to stay. In return, the clownfish keeps the anemone clean by eating its waste. Not all sea reef creatures help one another. Predators that eat sea animals swarm the reef looking for food. So many reef creatures must protect themselves. When a spiny pufferfish swims by, its predator, a ruffle-headed scorpionfish, pulls the puffer into its mouth. Quickly, the puffer inflates. The scorpion fish can't swallow the puffed up puffer, so it spits it out. Many reef creatures also use camouflage as protection from predators. When a decorator crab leaves its safe hiding place, it snips off bits of sponge and attaches them to its shell for camouflage. When the crab gets hungry, it eats bits of food that collect on the surface of the sponge. How perfect is that? The four-eyed butterfly fish confuses predators with false eye spots on its tails. Its enemies don't know which way the butterfly fish is headed. As the sun sets, the reef's blue-green water looks gray. The reef's day creatures seek safe places to hide as barracuda, snappers, and sharks cruise the reef at night. In the early evening, about a week after a full moon in late spring, 
coral polyps release pink eggs and sperm bundles into the water. They look like an underwater flurry of cherry blossoms. Later, tiny larvae hatch, float for several days, settle on a hard surface, and then mature into adult coral polyps. Coral polyps can also reproduce and enlarge a reef by budding. Coral buds grow on coral polyps, just as branches grow on trees. Around midnight, the reef is filled with darkness, as if it were covered with a black blanket. But the reef is just as alive at night as during the day. Coral polyp tentacles reach out, snatch zooplankton, and sweep them into the coral polyp's mouth. A flashlight fish, with light pouches under its eyes, attracts the zooplankton that it eats. Flaps of skin let the flashlight fish blink its lights on and off. The lights reflect off orange cup coral that bursts with color as it blooms at night. The green moray eel stalks fish in the dark by using its sense of smell, but it slips by a parrotfish in a deep sleep. Why? A colorless liquid oozes from the parrotfish's body and covers it like plastic wrap. The eel can't smell the parrotfish, so it glides right by. And eels cannot see very well, so they really rely on their sense of smell. A spiny lobster searches the sandy bottom for clams, mussels, snails, and sea stars. After hunting all night by smelling and touching, an octopus returns to its cave at first light, and coral polyps withdraw their tentacles as a new day begins in the reef. That's the end of our story, explorers. I hope you learned something new about coral reefs. If you're joining our school program, in your packet you'll find a coral reef booklet that you can make. You can color it and cut it out and I'll read it to you right now in case you don't have it. A coral reef is home to brightly colored fish, giant clams, and purple sponges. Eels, crabs, sea stars, and shrimps live here too. That's why sharks come to hunt for a tasty meal. Lift the magnifying glass. See the tiny coral animal? It captures food with its stinging tentacles. Each coral makes a hard, stony cup to live in. The stony cup is part of a reef. A reef is an underwater wonderland made from these cups. Most cups are empty. The animals inside have died long ago. New corals build their cups on top of empty ones. What do these coral shapes remind you of? And then you can see that if you lift the little flap there, so you can see the new corals and the empty cups. The Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Australia is the largest reef in the world. It is in danger because of pollution and careless divers and boats. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you'll join us again soon. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Bye.